Hey, I'm Adrian from Aftershock PC, and today we're gonna to be reseeding the graphics card in this computer, or as it's commonly referred to, the GPU. If you're having problems with your PC and have everything set up correctly, with your HDMI or your DisplayPort plugged into the back of your graphics card and into the back of your monitor, and you're still having issues with display or some games, there's a chance you need to reset your graphics card. Shut down your PC either via Windows, or if you can't access Windows due to the display issues you're having, press the power button on the top of your PC. Now that your PC is off, flick the power switch at the back, remove the power cable, your display cable, and any other accessories you may have connected to the PC. Lay your computer flat down. It's best to have some towels or foam underneath so you don't scratch the back of the case. Now that the PC is on its back, the next step is to gain access to the graphics card, and we do that by removing the side panel. Some come with screws on each corner, others, like this one, comes on a hinge. Now that the side panel has been taken off the PC, the next step is to remove the power cables from the graphics card. There is a small clip on the top of the power cables that you press down and then pull the cables out. Once you've removed the power cables from the graphics card, there'll be up to three screws at the back holding the graphics card down, and on some chassis like this one, there is a small retaining bracket on the rear. If your case has it, like this one, remove the rear retaining bracket. Once you've taken the bracket off, the next step is to take out the two screws that are holding down the graphics card. Once you've taken out all the screws and the bracket, push the clip on the motherboard that sits just on the base of the graphics card. You will hear a small little click. Once you do that, you'll hear the graphics card release, and then you can pull the graphics card out of the PC. Once you've removed the graphics card from the PC, reinsert the graphics card into the same slot on the motherboard. You'll see a little PCIe slot here in the bottom of the card. You'll have to line that up with the exact same slot that the graphics card was removed from initially. Once you put the graphics card in correctly, you will hear an audible click and the graphics card will lock itself into the motherboard. Now that the graphics card is back in, we have to install the screws. Always remember to do the bottom screw first and the top screw second. If your case has it, install the retaining bracket. Once you've installed the screws and the retaining bracket, the next step will be to install the graphics card power cables. If this is done correctly, you will hear an audible click. Once the power cables are back in, reinstall your side panel. Correctly, if you can. I obviously can't. When reinstalling your display cables, whether that be HDMI or DisplayPort, don't plug them into the back of the motherboard, but plug them into the back of the graphics card. If you've completed the graphics card receipt and you're still having issues with either some games or getting no display, please contact the friendly staff at Aftershock PC. We're always happy to help.